Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, to all my viewers, I just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder and that is if you guys have not joined the Telegram group chat guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join, a link in the description box below. We talk about cryptocurrencies, the latest news and trends revolving around the space and we just have a great time at the end of the day. So come join the group and let's build this community together. And now let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. If we're looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we're currently sitting at $1.76 trillion. We're up 5.6% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 40.2%. Looking at the overall markets guys, we are seeing a lot of green across the board, especially in the last 24 hours. Some altcoins are in double digits and this does not come as a surprise to me because, um, you know, the uh, a price point that I was talking about over the last couple of days that, you know, we need Bitcoin to break out of that $38,200 mark. Bitcoin was able to do that today, causing, uh, you know, a lot of altcoins uh, to uh, go uh, towards the upside. But right now, the bottom is still not in, in my opinion. We still need to hit those specific price targets at 43k level and most importantly the $46,600 level for Bitcoin in order for me to be really really uh, you know confident that the bottom is in and we are indeed heading towards the upside but so far so good uh, but today guys I want to talk about none other than Cardano all right, my Cardano family, if we're looking at the Cardano's price right now, Cardano is currently trading at $1.77. It's up 2.4% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, but it's down 1.9% in BTC comparative in the last 24 hours. Uh, ADA's current rank on coin market cap and on coin gecko is at the top fifth spot market cap right now is 56.7 billion dollars meanwhile 24 hour trading volume is at 4.35 billion dollars zooming out and looking at the bigger picture for cardano guys in just the last year alone cardano is up 2100 percent and even in the last 30 days it's up 33.2 percent guys which is a very very bullish sign because if we go on uh, coin gecko or coin market cap and look at the majority of the altcoins right now and if we look in the last 14 days and 30 days, most are still down double digits in uh, those, uh, you know, 14 days and 30 day time period. Uh, but uh, Cardano is up 33.2% and that's a very, very bullish indicator on its own. So, so far everything is looking very, very nice for Cardano. But today I want to share an, a news article with you guys for Cardano and then we will come and look at the price analysis to see where Cardano is headed in the immediate short term. So let's jump right into that. Alright, so Cardano to launch its first cross-chain bridges with a link to Nervous. A public chain project Nervous and Cardano said they plan to enable interoperability across their platform within the next six weeks. The bridge uh, furthers their goal of discovering the industry Bluetooth moment, Nervous and IOHK according to the development team behind Cardano. Blockchain accelerator Mousebelt has been tapped to develop the tech with funding to come from Nervous Grant. Uh, the Cardano team will commit expertise and resources to connect its network. Uh, the force bridge, as it's known, will allow users to interchangeably transact with Nervous or Cardano native currency, CKB, and ADA. It will also enable participants to create their own wrapped tokens, crypto, uh, that are pegged to the value of another and do so across both chains according to the release. The bridge is expected to reduce transaction costs across both platforms, cryptocurrencies, while reducing the burden for users to possess different wallets to access features from both networks. It will let developers uh, from both chains access services and features to expand their decentralized applications and user base, the company said. We believe that blockchain technology will only achieve mainstream acceptance when end users are not locked into one blockchain or standard. Good point coming up from a Roman IOHK CTO. Bridges like this are an absolute necessity in order to ensure that users have a seamless experience. Very interesting and I wanted to share this with all the Cardano holders. Um, so now let's jump into the price analysis. Right off the bat guys, you know, when I'm looking at this chart, you know, Cardano is literally heading in the right direction towards its all-time highs. This is one of the bullish charts uh, in the cryptocurrency markets right now. As I have mentioned earlier, 
you know, there is a lot of uncertainty in the markets right now. Obviously, the major price pullback that we did see two, three weeks ago, which created a lot of panic across the board and made majority of the altcoins bleed very hard. And Cardano was one of the altcoins that had a massive, massive retracement towards the downside. If we go, uh, you know, on March 18th, we were trading literally at $2.14. We saw Cardano price drop literally guys uh you know about 55 a percent and you know that was a quite a bit of a drop uh, but since then guys uh you know cardano is making a nice solid recovery if you manage to pick up some cardano around this level at this uh you know one dollar five cents mark which is the last level of support if you pick some cardano up around here guys you are literally sitting right now in just a couple of weeks it's at 67.34% profit in just a week or so. Uh, so, you know, that that would have been a really good purchase if you had some buy orders placed in there. And right now, guys, Cardano is headed towards its all-time highs. And I would not be surprised, you know, in the next week or so, or even maybe earlier, it all depends on Bitcoin, if Cardano gets back, uh, you know, uh, within this 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. Right now, you guys can see, uh, we are, uh, you know, in this, uh, you know, crucial, crucial level of, uh, you know, um, support where there's a major support, uh, you know, in this 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level and we are hanging around at this range. And we did even go to that 38.2. Uh, we just wicked above it, but we have uh, pulled uh, down uh, just uh, a little bit if we bring out the measuring tool we're only down just like two percent from you know uh, uh, the 38.2 uh, retracement level uh, but you know I would not be surprised if you know Bitcoin does continue to get to uh, uh, you know gradually go towards the upside especially that 39 to forty thousand dollar level I would not be surprised if we get back into this 38.2 level guys and you know gradually move up towards the 23.6 and you know smash past the all-time high but you know during this time guys it's not just going to be a straight one line up and like this it's that's not what's going to happen uh right now my target is uh for uh you know cardano is to get back in this range but it all depends on bitcoin bitcoin can bitcoin can invalidate uh you know this rally anytime it wants because right now we are still not in the safe zone in my opinion so far you know bitcoin are breaking out uh, from uh, that you know uh, price range that I was talking about is a bullish sign but there's still a chance for it to fall uh, towards the downside if we are unable to hit those specific price targets that I'm talking about especially that uh, $43,000 level and most importantly that $46,600 level uh, but you know if we do gradually move up even uh, to that 40k mark I would not be surprised if we get back into this range that you know 38.2 and possibly even touch $2.05 uh, you know, I believe this might be, you know, a level of, uh, you know, resistance. We might have some choppiness around here, uh, might trade sideways for a day or two and, you know, get back into this 23.6 uh, retracement level. Once we get back into this zone, guys, you know, it's just a matter of time before we do break all time highs and get towards, um, you know, newer highs. And that, you know, considering that, guys. Uh, you know, considering everything, you know, this whole crash that we saw, Cardano has made a very, very massive recovery so far. And, you know, one thing as to why a lot of people are asking me the same question as well, so I want to answer it. A lot of people are asking, you know, Crypto ZX, you know, we are looking at, for instance, a great project, one of my favorite projects, like look at VeChain, you know, look at some other projects, uh, Polkadot or even, uh, you know, Theta. If we're looking at those projects, they have not had a recovery as fast as Cardano. What's causing Cardano to, uh, you know, recover so fast? One, you know, major uh, factor is, uh, you know, th this, guys. Look at this. I always show you guys this, and there's always a reason to show you guys this. Because, guys, $40.5 billion worth of Cardano is being staked right now, meaning... 73.58% of the actual circulation supply is not on the exchanges right now. So let me make it easier for you guys so you guys can get a better picture. So you guys see the circulation supply right now is 32.066 you know billion dollar a billion uh, coins uh, right now in circulation uh, for Cardano, okay? So basically uh, you know, this is just a rough estimate. Uh, so basically, 74% of the supply, guys, is not on the exchanges. It's being staked. People are staking it, you know, uh, uh, staking it, providing, um, you know, just um, gaining, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm sorry, like, uh, they are uh, earning passive income off it and compounding it, just making their bag bigger over time. So that 74.5% or whatever it is, uh, is off the exchanges. Uh, those coins are not on the exchanges. That means there's only 25% 
of the coins uh, that are uh, on you know the exchanges for people to buy so you know once the demand really kicks in because you know once the markets tend to recover once once bitcoin recovers as i have been showing over the last you know week or so the trend that is going on when bitcoin has a recovery to five to ten percent we see altcoins outpacing bitcoin so the recovery is very very fast and you know, obviously the demand for Cardano is really high. You know, the Alonso, uh, you know, hard fork, uh, you know, smart contracts launching and Cardano becoming a big ecosystem day by day. One million uh, wallets crossed. So the community is, uh, you know, building day by day. They're, it's growing at such an exponential rate. So, you know, this growth does not come as a surprise to me. So once the markets do tend to recover, coins like this will recover very, very fast. And, you know, uh, because there's already such less coins on the exchanges. And once people want to pick some more up and, you know, the buying pressure kicks in, you know, supply and demand factor just kicks in. And, you know, that's uh, right there for us. And this is basically, uh, you know, a perfect example of supply shock occurring right in front of us. And as Cardano grows and as the staking number grows over time, guys, you know, it's going to be get it's going to start getting more scarce over time and you know it's going to you know go up way faster over time but again guys uh, even though you know there's such a high level of staked value uh, and you know let's say uh, let's say cardano is on an upwards trend on a bullish upwards trend you know this all can be in invalidated right off the bat if bitcoin has a crash you guys can see but this does not last long you guys are already starting to see this and you know in this time of uh, you know day you guys do not want to be shaken out because uh, you know this is a basically a whale manipulation they try to do this so they can shake out the weak hands and i always say you guys do not want to be the sh weak hands getting shaken out as long as you have done your due diligence and research and have invested what you can afford to lose guys you know holding will be your number one key to follow and already we're sitting at one dollar seventy six point seven two cents guys and at the rate Cardano is developing, you know, it's just absolutely insane. I believe the sky is the limit for this project and I would not be surprised in the next week or so or possibly even faster as long as, uh, you know, Bitcoin goes towards the upside. It all depends on Bitcoin right now. But if Bitcoin goes towards the upside, I would not be surprised if Cardano breaks its all-time high because right now, guys, if we do measure this, Cardano is only down... Um, to be exact, Cardano is down 28.46% from its all-time high. So you guys get the picture as to where Cardano is going. And once we break the all-time high, my target is $3 for the immediate short term. Uh, but right now, all eyes are within this range. Uh, you know, at that $2.05 mark, I believe uh, that's my next price target for Cardano for the bullish scenario to play out. And I believe we might have some choppiness around there before we continue to go towards the upside and try to break this all-time high and head towards, you know, newer all-time highs at $3.00. And um, bearish scenario, before I end this video, guys, I, you guys know I do not like talking about the bearish scenario, but we always have to keep things realistic on this channel. I'm not going to come out to you and say, you know what, we're just heading straight up and there's no possibility for the market to drop towards the downside. There's always a possibility there could be a fake out market manipulation. If that occurs, guys, we have a possibility to fall back down to this range. Um, you know, first, you know, this would be the range uh, that one dollar fifty cents mark. You guys know how crucial this level of support is. If that's unable to hold, guys, we can possibly get back into this range. Uh, but you know, as of now, you know, the bullish scenario is kind of outweighing the bearish scenario. But let's not overlook the bearish scenario as well. Let's keep our eyes open. If you bought back around here, guys, and now let's say the profits that you have is too much that you cannot afford to lose, guys, have a stop loss just in case. Just in case have a stop loss because at the end of the day, if you cannot afford to lose these profits, please, please, you know, um, have a stop loss. I'm just giving you tips out here. You guys do what works for you. This is not financial advice. You guys do what works for you. But let's not get greedy in this market because, you know, greed is not good in this market. As fast as you can make profits in this market, guys, that's as fast as it could be wiped out too. So you always have to keep that in mind, guys. And with that being said, guys, you know, Bitcoin... Uh, so far so good still these are the price targets um you know the worst case scenario is us falling below 36k and you know the last level of the resort is at $33,100 level if you break below that guys things will look ugly we can even possibly see bitcoin go to $25,000 and like i said that would be the bearish scenario we could even possibly fall below this but no one wants to see that but let's keep that in mind uh but you know i think this is it for today's video guys let me know in the comment section below where you could see 
Cardano go at the end of this month. I would love to know your thoughts down below and come join the Telegram group chat guys and come say hello and let's build this community together. And please like this video, subscribe and um, you know, uh, hit that bell icon. I'm trying to get uh, to 20,000 subscribers and this is just an absolute beginning guys. And um, you know, please like the video because it helps my videos get to a wider audience. And with that being said guys, stay safe out there. Safety comes first, health comes first, family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.